Very good morning friends, I am Rajesh here from Dubai. Today I am going to introduce brand new Sani 75 ton crawler crane. Uh, this model is SCC 750A uh, and it has launched on last quarter of 2018. This have a lot of advanced features compared to the previous model and in this video I will try to show you useful information about this machine. And till watch till the end of this video, please follow me. This is how shipment came from factory without a crawler track assembly, counterweight and main boom. As you see in this photo, it's very difficult to transport the machine so Sani engineer assembled the track group to make a transportation very easy. Firstly, I'll show you the operating cabin of this machine and let's see how it looks like. I felt a bit difficult to get inside because this is in a transportation mode. If this is in a working mode, the crawler will be extended, then it's very really easy to get inside. So, uh, let me open the door first. So, you can lock the door here. The locking, small lock is there. This is a function lock and it's one of the safety device. Once it, it is locked, then uh, the machine function entirely will be stopped. So let me get inside first. As I said earlier, when you start to operate the machine, first you have to unlock like this. This is travel control lever. As you know, most of the crawler machine have the same method. This is a travel lever used to move the crane to and fro. This is travel pedal, same function you can do with the foot also. And left side uh, you can see one more pedal, uh, this is a free fall control pedal and this control main hoist free fall. Actually uh, this is a single free fall machine, if it is dual free fall one more pedal will be here, yeah, right hand side. And, uh, Right hand side you can see uh, one more pedal, this is a foot throat pedal. Actually the function is, this is used to adjust the engine speed. Next I'll show you monitor. Actually this is a touch screen monitor with a 8.4 inch screen with the programming switches. As you see in this picture, all working parameters and status are showing in the monitor such as engine speed, fuel level, engine oil pressure, servo pressure and wind speed, engine working hours, lifting condition and boom angles. We should say thanks for SYMC and the LMI control system. Actually these systems are controlled complete crane operations. If crane moves towards dangerous condition, this system makes judgment and cut off automatically. And it also performs as a black box to record all the lifting information. Next, I'll show you a front screen of the machine. There you can see two lock on top left and right to open it. This we can lift it up completely like this. There is a vapor here to clean the front glass. Now you can see direct view of outside and same way you can close it. And on the top uh, sunshade is here. You can open it uh, like this. And there is a wiper fixed to clean the glass. If you come forward on the roof, uh, one cabin light is here. 
and after this if you come to right side uh, you can see a cut in here and you can see a small window and to open uh, like this a strong drill fix it here my left and right you can see two joysticks here and this is the right joysticks actually right joysticks is used to control main load hoist and uh, boom hoist and this is cigar lighter uh, with the 12 volts dc and 10 ampere is for recharging adapter and this is failure indicator and as a safety passage hand throttle rotary button it's used to control engine speed this is main key portal to start the engine and stop again if you come back said here you can see lots of control switches each switch is representing different function this is main load hoist lock auxiliary load hoist lock boom hoist lock high speed uh, travel and a working light come to second row the first switch is assembly mode wiper switch for roof window wiper switch for front window and last one is wiper washer if you come back side you can see a small fan two speakers and two ac ventilator and front side also they given two ac ventilator this is left joystick it control auxiliary winch load hoist and swing control level this is release master switch and also called as a bypass lock once you release the key a safety system will not work and next one is a free fall permit switch and the next one uh, this is a telescopic switch it is used to extend and retract a trawler and last one is paddle switch and this is emergency stop button and next back side of this you can see ac and radio control uh, systems and behind the seat uh, you can see a uh, two safe box uh, left and right this one you can use to keep your personal belongs like catalogs and all in this box you can see gps and gps data transfer device this is working as a standard remote monitoring system and through this system you can see machine status operating data analysis and a remote uh, diagnosis of failure and next one is black box it records all functional movement of the crane and when you come out nearby door uh, you can see one fire extinguisher is fixed here next we'll talk about the seats this is not a normal seat and it has important features you can adjust the seat as per your convenience and these seats have a safety lock system if operator leaves the seats all control handle will be locked if you want to close the door a small lever is here to release the uh, door lock nearby cabin you can see a small ventilator so let's open and uh, see what is inside yeah this is uh, ac filter and this is outer view of the machine and you can see uh, four cabins so let's open the uh, first door and uh, see what other components are inside this is hydraulic tank compartment which having a uh, capacity of 460 liter hydraulic oil and uh, nearby hydraulic tank you can see three filters so the details i'll show you later and this is a main pump and for safety uh, there is a fire extinguisher is also placed here so let's close and open our next door this is main hydraulic pump compartment this main pump developed by sore dan forces 
a hydraulic system given maximum pressure of 32 megapascal and its open variable displacement piston pump and main pump adopts electrically controlled positive flow control system and behind the pump you can see three filters first one is a pre-filter and second one is oil water separator and third is fuel filters and let's close this door and so let's we'll try to open the next cabin so this is the engine room first you can see oil filter over here and turbocharger I'll explain about this engine. This is Isuzu diesel engine with 212 kilowatts or 284 HP with 2000 RPM. This is four stroke water cooled and six cylinder direct injection turbocharger and European standard tire 3 emission standard controls. Let's open the last cabin. Yes, uh, this is a radiator cabin. Here you can see a huge radiator to cool the engine. Next, I'll show you the uh, back side of the machine. This is a place where counterweight is fixing. Compared to earlier model, uh, this machine got a monitoring camera and a projection light. This camera helps to monitor back side of the crane as well as winch rotation. Let's come to right side of the machine. Here you can see five cabins. Also you can see a stair to get upside. Let's open the first cabin so find out what is inside. Actually this is oil cooler and under the oil cooler two batteries are fixed here uh, 12 watts 180 ampere capacity batteries. This is all here. Let's go to the next one. Here you can see uh, auxiliary winch motors. Actually, this winch motor is developed by Sani. And uh, you can see other uh, hoses connecting to uh, auxiliary winches. Here you can see more space uh, convenience for maintenance. Then uh, let's move to next cabin. Here you can see main control box and main wall. Let's open a control box. So here you can see SYMC unit. Actually, this is control entire crane uh, like LMI and LMU, etc. And this use campus technology used for the data communication between control monitor and the engine. And here it's another winch motors and the valve also developed by uh, Sani. And let's open the uh, third or fourth cabin. So here also you can see some components of uh, valves. It's a part of a main valve. So last cabin you can see uh, a diesel tank. This is 400 liter diesel tanks. So there is a whole uh, alarm. You can see there's a steps to go to upside. 
this is a swing lock there is a another electronic uh, lock is that you can control from cabin and this is serial number and manufacturing in ear plate uh, this crane is manufactured in 2019 uh, on march so this is a front view of operating cabin in front operating cabin there you can see three colors of warning light like a red a yellow and green each color indicate a different meaning when the actual load is smaller than 90% of the rated load the green light is on when the actual load is larger than 90 and smaller than 100 the yellow light is on and alarm light flashes send out the intermediate siren when the actual load uh, reach 100 and 102 the complete operation will be locked this is one of the safety features of this machine these are set of keys coming with the machine these two keys used to start the machine and other keys are to open the cabin they are offering complete set of catalog which is include safety manual, operation manual and spare parts manual and one set of soft copy, two set of toolbox, two set of coveralls and set of filters and diesel filling funnel and also here you see one more toolbox is here. and uh, grease gun actually this machine has been already confirmed by the customer kindly be with us for a few minutes and watch the video meanwhile transportation and commissioning is going on after that i'll explain in detail Hi, welcome back. Next, I'll explain the counterweight. Total counterweight of the machine is uh, 25 ton. In this, the counterweight tray comes around 8.7 ton, and other counterweight comes a ratio of 4 and 4.15 ton each. I'll explain about the undercarriage. 
you can extend the track up to 4850 and retract the size to 3200 mm each track shoes have 800 mm width and one side uh, 65 numbers of track shoes are placed here in one side you can see 10 numbers of track rollers are placed here and about two cadre rollers also here what you seen here this is extending and retracting hydraulic cylinder and this is swing mechanism this you can rotate 360 degree and this is used for single draw ball bearing to rotate 360 degree and this is also part of extending a hydraulic cylinder this is main boom the full configuration comes 57 meter and the minimum boom limited to 12 meter Here you can see two tubes. This is called a backstop device. Its major components are nesting tube and spring. This helps to buffer the boom backlash and to prevent further tipping back. What you see in first is main winch and second one is auxiliary winch. And the diameter of both wire rope is 22 mm and a dumb dryer is 520mm. This is the boom hoist winch. Here the wire rope dryer is 20mm. Then dumb dryer is 400mm. Here you can see a vacant path for walking with the safety barrier at a side end. This is anemoscope. This is one of the wind speed detector and a safety system. If wind is more than fixed radius, operation will cut off automatically. Below you can see limit switch. It is one of the safety system. This will prevent the hook lifting up from fixed height. Total four types of hooks come in this machine. One is 75 ton, 45 ton, 15 ton and 9 ton ball hooks. As of now, I showed you each components of the machine. In the next video, I'll show you the theoretical parameters and performance of this SCC750A. Next, I'll show you the main performance and the specification of this crane. Here, you can see maximum rated capacity. Capacity is 75 ton. And largest lifting moment, 288. And the main boom configuration, fixed jeep. The speed a wire rope engine details equipment transportation diameter and other details i don't want to make this video too long so whatever important parameter you needed you can pause the video and read it here you can see all dimension of the machine This chart shows the main boom combination. For example, you want to make it 36 meter boom length. How we can do it? As you see in this chart, 12 meter minimum length of basic structure. So 12 meter should be there and take one number of 6 meter and two number of 9 meter length boom. Total comes to 36 meter. This is load chart. In this chart, I will show you how to calculate load chart of main boom configuration. As you see in this chart, lower boom angle is 30 degree and upper angle is 80 degree. Here you can see two pages of data sheets. One is 12 to 33 meter and another one 36 to 57 meter. Do you know how to calculate the load chart? I'll explain through this video. For example, you want to lift 75 ton. 
what will be the height of the main boom and radius it's very simple radius means a distance from the crane up to lifting material actually it start from the center of the crane your lifting material should be 3.8 meter far from the crane and main boom should be 12 meter so you can lift 75 ton same time rear load chart will show in monitor next i'll try to take direct feedback from the customer about sani cranes hi sir how is it fine ओके Okay. Uh, then after that, I think we bought one 2014. 14. Okay. Uh, model is bit bit. I think that time changed to you. Yes, it changed uh, change to your model. Yeah. yeah. The the crane was okay, but have a problem. Uh, little bit slow. Okay. Movement was. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my movement was slow. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, that's a, that that's a problem I was facing. But now when I purchase these two. Okay. I'm not facing the problem. All, uh, all, all the is okay. Okay. Uh, till, till now. But I think uh, we have one crane since nine months now. Yes, yes. And yes. I think it's okay. I can I take this call? I think the problem is not uh, not same like before. Yeah. I'm happy with the with the machine till till now. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. I feel I feel by that it was not like 2014 it was not like 2007 or 2008 yeah uh, uh, 2008 was okay for the operation it was very fast was very good yes a little bit safety but uh, now it's too much safety and uh, you know safety sometimes is uh, yes, yes, yes sometimes is delay or what but you know safety is the first safety is first yeah so No, we are very happy with that one. So we are uh, really happy with our service. Uh, you know, United Motors and that is when I'm the uh, sure. local dealer here. Sure, sure. Actually, uh, till now I am not facing any problem. Okay. So all is okay. Thank you. I hope it will be continued because you know yes, sure, of the problem will not be visible in first year. It will be visible later, three yeah. years, four years. Yeah, well, so I hope the performance will be the same. Yeah, performance will be the same. Uh, everything will be okay. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Thank you. Today I am sitting with uh, Mr. Atnan Noor. He is the operation manager of uh, Emirates German Foundation. They have uh, more than uh, nine uh, Sani crawler crane. So they will share his experience of exactly what is his uh, personal experience with the Sani machines. Hi, good morning. Uh, we are uh, dealing with the Sani people since uh, I mean more than two years. So we have uh, good experience with them. Uh, we purchased last year, you know, this uh, SCC 750A. It's, uh, it's the latest model of Sani cranes, and we are uh, fully satisfied with this equipment. Especially, they, they they make some modification in this machine, you know, in the undercarriage and the, in the swing and the horsepower of engine is also uh, they they increase little bit, and uh, we have more than eight or nine. 
crawler cranes of Sony brands and one rig machine. So we are fully satisfied with their service. And we have another uh, Chinese equipment also, you know, but the comparatively we are uh, very much satisfied with the Sony brand. We have. Uh, we are using, you know, these all uh, uh, different capacities, uh, of these uh, Sani cranes with uh, different brands of fibro hammers of uh, maybe six ton, seven ton, eight ton, uh, with the uh, foundation job, all kind of foundation job, piling job we are doing in the different areas, and we are uh, completely satisfied. We didn't face any problem. Now I am nearby one of the STC750A site, so we'll take the direct uh, feedback from the operator. आपका नाम क्या है मोहम्मद इजहार आप कितने साल से काम कर रहे हैं इसमें क्रेन में तेरह साल थर्टीन ईयर्स अच्छा 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 में कितना साल हो गया कंपनी में दो साल दो साल अच्छा कैसा लग रहा है ये साल अच्छा पहले बहुत चाइनीज मॉडल चला है लेकिन ये थोड़ा बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है अच्छा अच्छा पुराना मॉडल से कैसे लग रहा है इसे सेवन फिफ्टी ई पुराना था अभी ए के बाद क्या लग रहा है ये जो मॉडल आया ना ये नया मॉडल हाँ मॉडल ये काफी अच्छा है स्पीड भी अच्छा है स्पीड अच्छा है हाँ और चलाने में इजी है हाँ चलाने में भी इजी है चलाने में इजी है ओके तो बात ये ना कि स्पीड भी अच्छा ज़्यादा स्पीड
So I am going to conclude this video. Hope this video finds you well. If you have any comments or clarification, you can drop it in the comment box. I am proud to say that Sani is the choice of more than thousands of customers. Why can't it be your choice? Thank you for watching. Rajesh here, signing off.